There has been one common thread in all of the Boston Celtics' success, Tommy Heinsohn. A two-time Hall of Famer as a player, coach, and Hall of Fame broadcaster in the minds of Celtics fans, Heinsohn was part of all 17 championships and is as much a symbol of Celtics' mystique as the banners and parquet floor. An eight-time champion as a player, a two-time champion as a coach, and a beloved broadcaster for his unabashed support of all things green team, Heinsohn was Mr. Celtic. He passed away on Monday at the age of 86. Tommy is the true definition of what a Celtic is, said former Boston coach Doc Rivers. Echoed former Celtics center Kendrick Perkins, he's that DNA. When you think about Celtics pride and what it means to be a Celtic, you think of Larry Bird, Red Auerbach, but then the next thing comes to my mind is Tommy Heinsohn. Plucked out of Holy Cross as a territorial pick in 1956, Heinsohn earned six All-Star nods in nine seasons before a foot injury ended his playing days at age 30. Heinsohn recorded 427 wins as Celtics coach, the second-highest total in team history behind only Auerbach, while guiding Boston from 1969 to 1978. For the past four decades, Heinsohn was a ref-scolding color commentator who never hid his allegiances in his role for NBC Sports Boston. Yes, Heinsohn truly bled green. When people think of me, they don't think of me as an artist, they don't think of me as an insurance guy. I'm a Celtic, said Heinsohn. Everybody in the league believes I'm a Celtic. Heinsohn averaged 22.1 points per game at Holy Cross, and remains the school's all-time leading rebounder, 64 years later. The early years Thomas William Heinsohn was born August 26, 1934 in Jersey City, New Jersey. He caught the basketball bug at age 10 after his family moved to Union City and Heinsohn befriended Perry Del Purgatorio, a local high school standout a few years his elder who would play college ball at Villanova. Heinsohn starred at St. Michael's High School, but it was his success in a local semi-pro league, where he sometimes played under an assumed name against NBA and college talent, that caught the eye of recruiters. My sophomore year in high school, I ended up being the MVP of one of the semi-pro tournaments. I got a lot of offers. By senior year, I had over 300 offers, I could have gone anywhere, said Heinsohn. I made the high school All-America team. I wanted to go to a Jesuit school. I looked at Fordham, Georgetown, and Holy Cross. Holy Cross was away, and I wanted to go away and it had the best basketball program. So the two factors combined, that is how I chose Holy Cross. The Crusaders won the NIT championship in 1954 with Heinsohn and Togo Palazzi at the helm. In three seasons at Holy Cross, Heinsohn averaged 22.1 points per game and, despite his solid passing skills, earned a nickname for his propensity to shoot when the ball came his way, 